Today we are reviewing food from Little Richard's Barbecue in Yakinville, North Carolina. I got some of their most popular menu items. Let's try them and rate them one through 10. Let's get right into it. First up, we are gonna go in with the barbecue drumstick. Oh boy, that's a big piece of meat. First bite's for you. Okay, so right off the bat, the chicken is a little dry, but it's got a nice smokiness to it. I like the chart marks on there. As far as the flavor itself, it's pretty lacking. Alabama barbecue sauce. Yeah, that's so weird. I'm really not sure how I feel about it though. It's definitely mayonnaise based, but it's got some other flavors in there that I really can't pick out. It's definitely a little acidic, which is pretty good, but it's something in there I don't like, but I also can't stop eating. Overall, I think I give the barbecue drumsticks a five out of 10. Mac and cheese, reusable fork. It's definitely cheesy. It's got a good texture to it with the noodles. The only thing I will say that it's missing is a little bit of salt. I get that a seven out of 10. Next up, we're gonna try the smoked sausage. It looks like they cut it in half and then grilled it a little bit. First bite's for you. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Mm. It's a little salty, but it's definitely packed with flavor. I'm not sure what kind of smoked sausage this is, but it's a hit. Try it with some of this hickory barbecue sauce. This smoked sausage is absolutely delicious right here. I get this an eight out of 10. It's going with some hush puppies. These hush puppies are light, crunchy, not too salty. That's the perfect hush puppy for me with the barbecue sauce. I get these an eight out of 10. Next up, we are trying the collard greens. These look a little weird to me, but we're gonna try it. A little bite. But first off, they did not look appetizing whatsoever. I'm not sure what this brown stuff is, but it was really off-putting for me. But when you bite into the collard greens, they have a nice little bite to it. Nice, good texture. It's not too salty. It's a little vinegary. It looks like they put some onions, some garlic, a little bit of the pork in there too. And it's got some kick to it. Oh yeah, these are hit right here. Next up, we're gonna go in with this brisket. Now I can already tell you, it is dry as heck. To be one of the most popular menu items, I was expecting this to be completely bursting with flavor, but it's not. It does have a nice bit of bark on there, but it's not really smoky and it's really, really lacking in flavor. Plus it's not very tender either. Usually with a very good brisket, you can just tear it apart real easy with your hands. It ain't coming out easy. Let me just try this brisket with the Alabama white sauce. It's not it. Put some barbecue sauce. That's better, but it shouldn't need the barbecue sauce to make it good. Overall, the brisket is lacking in flavor. The texture is not that good. I might have to give it a three out of 10. Next up, we're gonna try these baked beans. Oh yeah. It looks like the beans have got some green bell pepper, some onions in it. The sauce is very sweet. It's got a tiny bit of a tang to it. These are really, really good. I'm a huge fan of these baked beans right here. Another bite. These get an eight and a half out of 10. Lastly, we are trying the chopped barbecue sandwich. I can already tell you this is not gonna be that good. First bite's for you. Well, that was disappointing. You know how a reheated bun tastes? That's this right here. Not only that, the chopped barbecue itself is really lacking flavor and it's pretty dry. I'm gonna have to give this a three out of 10. Let's doctor it up. A little bit of this hickory barbecue sauce on there. It did help a little bit, but again, shouldn't have to rely on the sauce. Overall, I'm gonna have to give Little Richard's Barbecue a six out of 10. A lot of items were really good. Some of them weren't. I still enjoyed it either way. Be kind to yourself. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.